Hi, I know it's been a really long time since I've done any uh, any video uploads and I apologize for that. Uh, life has gotten very busy and for a while I was kind of put off by a lot of the messages I was getting from people that were asking very sexual questions about my uh, my stub, my amputation. So I kind of um, I kind of stopped for a while um, and focused on me. Uh, I passed my ampuversary in September, um, so it's been over a year since I lost my leg. I passed my first day of walking at the end of October, so over a year since I took my first steps on a prosthetic. We're now in November and we're coming up on the holidays. It's it's going to be a totally new experience this year because last year I was without a leg during the holidays um, because I had had a temporary prosthetic, but then I lost my temporary prosthetic while they made me my uh, my temporary one before my permanent one. Um, it got a, really messed up for me. Um, so this year I'm actually going to be walking around and helping with the cooking and it's going to be great. Um, at the end of May, I had my lap band done and I've lost uh, over 50 pounds with that. I'm, I'm losing steadily like uh, two to three pounds a week, which is perfect. And it's so funny because, you know, I've dieted, I've always watched what I ate, but because I was so immobile with the leg that I had, um, my weight just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And now with just the simple procedure and the little bit of activity, you know, I'm able to do because I still have some limitations. Um, I'm losing weight and it's, it's a really great feeling. Um, by next summer, I'm hoping to uh, be under the 200 mark, which would be fabulous. Um, but no rush, you know, it's a day at a time, one step at a time. Uh, one one thing um, because life has gotten back on track for us uh, my husband and I went back to school um, because my health issues weren't really a concern anymore and we were able to do that so that was really great um, uh, I've got about a year left on my masters so once I'm done with that uh, I'm hoping to go on for my doctorate uh, can't keep you can't keep me down I guess uh, I'm trying to think. There's really not a whole lot going on other than school, work, and I try to stay as active as possible. Um, I'd like to say I go to support group meetings and uh, talk to other amputees, but to be honest, I don't. Uh, I tend to kind of just do what I did before. Uh, I think there was some animosity when I did go to a couple meetings because they were traumatic amputees and they didn't have a choice and I had a choice. Um, but then again, you know, they didn't go through 36 operations and be looking at even more operations to keep the limbs. So um, I wish that back when I was a child, they'd given me the choice of either keeping the limb or amputating because I feel like my life would have definitely been different in, you know, my ability to enjoy the small things. Um, I am periodically running. I don't do that very much because my prosthetic is not highly active because I am heavier, but um, I do a little bit and I have an elliptical, so I do that quite a bit and that's pretty awesome. Uh, I just, the feeling you get when you spend so long being sedentary to being able to get up and do things, it's, it's so it's like being alive, you know, just as a child again, you know, just the little things. Uh, I did go to the beach for the first time for my birthday in August, and I have to say, uh, for me, no. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of problems with my prosthetic in the sand and the water, and it just wasn't a happy thing for me. Um, I'm still in the push, the, the pin prosthetic. Um, I like it. I don't think that I will go to the back one unless, you know, I have to have a modification later on and, you know, they go up higher. Right now, I like the pin-in prosthetic. Um, I'm happy with it. I, I was going to show it. This is my leg. 
I got little monsters, but I got the pen and the monsters, um, and then I have a liner to help with the, um, to help with it. And uh, I like how low it is in the back. And uh, this, this does a good job cupping my, around my knee. And so I actually have the ability to be pretty um, mobile with it. And then I love New Balance sneakers. I can actually sit my leg down on a flat surface and it doesn't fall over. So I'm really happy with the New Balance sneaker. The only thing I'm really disappointed about is my foot that's inside here is actually slightly bigger than my other foot. They don't make this model of foot in a smaller size. And of course, hello, they don't make shoot they don't make our feet in half sizes. So like I wear an eight and a half. So I only have a choice between an eight and a nine. Well, in this model foot, they only make it in a nine. So uh, what is a girl to do? I can shave the toes on it so it fits a little bit better in my sneaker, but then I won't have the toenails and you know, I won't have that girly feeling. I pretty much never wear any other shoe but the New Balances. I have like four pairs of the sneakers. These are my favorite. They're the black with the purple and the green. And then I have a pair of really nice gray ones with like a blue and a green. And I have a pair of pink ones. And then I have a pair of white ones. Um, the New Balance sneaker, I cannot say enough about it. It's been the best. I was wearing the Skechers and I was having a lot of issues. And come to find out, it just wasn't a, a good fit. It's something about the heel height and the foot height. It kind of creates what you would have on a normal foot. So I really like it. And like I said, I'm still in the pen in, which I love. It's easy in, easy out. When I'm at work and I'm at my desk, sometimes I'll pop the leg off and, you know, let the leg rest. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. I uh, went to my fertility expert and we found a new one because our doctor gave us some really, just she was really being weird kind of mean uh, because I got the lap band but my doctor said that once I lose uh, the 20 pounds at the time when I was there about a month ago uh, down to the amount he wants me to be which is only 20 pounds it's not like a huge amount I have to lose he'll start me on um, different uh, fertility uh, drugs so maybe by this time next year I'll be pregnant or um, be about ready to have a child so my husband and I are very excited um, it just seems like it, it's been the toughest year for me but it seems like as the year has progressed um, and we've come around uh, that it has just each choice has made my life better you know the amputation gave me back my mobility gave me back my vitality it feels like the lap band helped me begin the process to lose the weight so I can be more active and all these decisions in turn have made it possible for me to uh, think about being a mother and after almost 13 years of marriage my house feels a little empty and I, I I'm ready for children and um, I'm sure I'll face challenges as an amputee mom uh, but you know, hey, that'll give me another chapter to talk about. Um, I don't know, maybe next, uh, the next thing I'll be doing a YouTube blog about is, uh, you know, the challenges of having to get up to a child crying. Um, right now, the biggest challenge I'm facing is what kind of nail polish to use on my prosthetic foot so it doesn't eat through it. Um, if anybody's actually done this, um, gotten like uh, different products to use on their, their toenails, well, their, their prosthetic foot, uh, please put a little message under this video. Uh, I'm, I've tried a couple different things. Uh, I'm Right now I'm looking at little stickers because people said those are great. But I'm kind of scared. I don't want to mess up my foot because, you know, I can only get so many replacements in a year from my insurance. Anyways, um, I hope everybody's uh, doing well. And I hope everybody has a happy holidays, and I will try to get another blog up a little bit sooner this next time.